Greetings everyone, hello, happy Monday, also today is an extra special day, so for any women viewers that I may have, I wish you all a very very happy International Women's Day. I understand from my mum's explanations of how hard it is to continually act as a strong woman in today's society. I acknowledge that there are many, many expectations put upon all of you. And I would like to acknowledge that I honestly, honestly am striving to do all that I am in order to continue supporting and respecting you more day in and day out. So without further ado, on that note, today's summary is that of a new audiobook. And that audiobook now that we have begun is called Enemy is the Ego by Ryan Holiday. Yeah, Enemy is the Ego by Ryan Holiday. And this morning, we done the first introductory session into it. And it was most, most pleasant, the insights that we all got from Ryan's own writings, which was further fueled through stoic philosophy as are his other um additions such as the obstacles but to get into the specifics of today's basically the point of discussion that we had at the end was that the ego is self-appointed. Let's all think about this for a few moments. The ego is self-appointed. So what does that make you think? That it just it just is, it's just there. Yeah, that's it. That's that's how I feel too. It's just there. But when we actually think about when and how is it just there, then we begin to actually bring it out into the light. So if the ego in this instance is yourself, which it is, it is the self. However, through the perspectives in this morning and my own belief, the ego is the self that exists when the self, i.e. me or you, do not have full and utmost belief in ourselves. It is only at that time that I believe the ego in this sense actually lives and is able to actually live. Because you see, if you believe in yourself and your own being, then the ego cannot win, it cannot function, because then you are not left in the planes of whichever environment you walk in, searching for external validation. You can't, you don't. When you acknowledge yourself and your own being, you you don't you don't care for that of anything outside of your own self, outside of your internal, to validate your internal. Because I am able to validate that I am, and I am 
existence. D does that make sense to you? As a you, me and you, we both are exactly the same. Exactly, exactly the same. We always have been and we always will be. The only real challenge is to accept and acknowledge that consciously whilst eradicating the limiting thoughts and beliefs that we would have accrued throughout our lives on historical context which would create ego so that's what we were discussing this morning and yeah it's that's that's where we're at it exists if you if you if you don't if you don't believe and i say believe there i believe are some traits that if we live in the ego cannot cannot bear them the ego cannot bear love hope faith and say it with me if you're a repeat viewer and optimism. It can't, it can't, it cannot, it cannot live. But it is hard in environments that are uncertain, as in today's world, it is hard and I acknowledge and I understand. However, every choice has its own attached outcomes and we are able to make a choice but every choice is tough um so with that and no not with that on that note there was something I wrote down right here at the bottom in this morning, which says, think big, but act small. Think big, think big, 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 big. However, act small. And I believe this is beautifully linked to that of Ryan Nope, to that of James Clear's Atomic Habits conclusion, which was how we are able to build habits that serve our higher self. Think big, think of who you are and wanting to become. And then just begin acting in line with your yourself. Like your, not too low of your abilities, but not too high. You know, the Goldilocks rule that we were talking about a few videos ago. Be like that, so, because you can, and yeah, I hope that was of value to you. Came from nowhere else other than the heart, <laughs> one take as always. Um, so yes, I will be back tomorrow with another summary update. Until then, everyone, I hope you continue having a absolutely terrific day. I'm sending you lots of love. So, yeah. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Hasta luego.